scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 14. Please prepare your hearts to receive. Watch this. This was when the king, the king slept, forgot his dream. Can you imagine how kings thought those days? You forget your dream, you slept by yourself on your bed, forgot your dream, and you are going to kill everybody because you are angry. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty? That means the manifestation of wisdom takes time beware of hasty decisions true wisdom allows the spirit of god to rest upon you there is a time component to manifesting wisdom god gives speed but he's not hasty he says why is the decree so hasty from the king then ariok made the thing known unto daniel verse 16 then daniel went in listen and desired of the king that he should give him what so when you need wisdom you need time Time that comes through meditation the outworkings of wisdom just give me time and I'll bring you a supernatural solution even though the spirit of wisdom is upon me he does not walk carelessly he walks with time and that time is spent in meditation now watch this he said that he should give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation uh-huh then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Michelle, Azariah, his companions. Verse 18. That they would desire mercies of God, the God of heaven concerning this secret. That Daniel and his followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. 19. Hallelujah. Read with me. Then the secret was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. You see how the spirit of wisdom works meditation the sacrifice of meditation do you know that there are many non-christian sects that understand this principle they would stay for a long time with a clean sheet find out some of the top ceos of conglomerates around the world they just sit down sometimes they go on a vacation you think they are swimming around and you see them sitting under a tree or somewhere just taking the cool breeze and they are just meditating and sitting quietly and then one idea comes from heaven that that defines the next 10 years the spirit of wisdom walks through the sacrifice of meditation i cannot begin to tell you ideas things that have come by the spirit of wisdom as i sat down sometimes in the night where everywhere is silent and i just sit down i'm just playing worship like this and i'm quiet do you know the bible says be still and you will know there is a level of knowledge that comes when you are still lord i don't know how i'm going to do ministry i don't know how to go about this but i give you praise I remember I say some of these things to encourage us it's really no secret I remember when God was preparing us to start the work here one night I, w I just sat down and I was just praying and then I kept quiet for more than 30 minutes and there his voice came the spirit of wisdom 
the Lord made me to buy the map of Abuja just a map of Abuja Nigeria Africa and the entire globe and I bought all of them and he said I should lay my hands and begin to pray and speak over it and speak over the territory divine strategies by the spirit of wisdom and with that childlike behavior you ask the forces over this territory what happened a territory does not just open because you have something to say there are controlling powers but one manifestation of the spirit of wisdom can help to keep them where they belong this is not in an arrogant sense some of you did not inquire from the spirit of wisdom you went alone to start business you had capital and all you did was to open a shop don't feel bad that's why you are here and you just gathered goods and sat down there and he said no do you not know let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom comes it comes largely through scripture you are sitting down wondering why is my business not growing for instance lord why is this not write all the problems and then keep them before the lord writing down the problems is proof that you expect an answer lord i will wait speak to me and one by one his voice will start coming how am i going to raise one billion ten billion for this project and all that i have in my account home and abroad is five hundred thousand and the Holy Ghost comes with the spirit of wisdom. You don't need 10 billion. You only need men. Because money hides in men. So don't think you cannot start the project because of money. Relationships are cheaper. Go and start learning how to build relationships. The spirit of wisdom. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And you get up and say, okay, Lord, what do I do? And he says, here's the deal. I will grant you favor and I will connect you with gatekeepers. Start from there. And the next thing you enter your office and a CEO that you have no business knowing. And you remember that was my deal. And because you have mastered relationships, you understand the law of honor. Good afternoon, sir. And the spirit of God rides through your understanding and makes the man to say, who are you? You're a young man. You look visionary. What do you do? He says, sir, well, we thank God I'm, I'm still putting plans together. See me tomorrow. A connection has begun that will let her birth you to become a billionaire. When people ask you and you say, I don't know, you are right, but you are wrong. Don't tell them you don't know. It's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom. One thing connecting to the other. Someone can sit down and your life is not moving forward and you sit down meditating. Lord, there has to be a way no matter how long there is a way and i trust you this is why i am here suddenly the spirit of wisdom comes breathes upon you james chapter 2 and verse 26 let me tell you why you have been failing there is no spirit component to what you are doing a body without a spirit is dead your shop is only a body there is no spirit back in it your political career is only a body there is no spirit back in it oh dear politician your intelligence is only a body there is no spirit back in it so when you introduce the spirit component to anything you are doing you now give it life wisdom has come to you the sacrifice of meditation number two how do you access the spirit of wisdom Luke chapter 21 and verse 15. Let's look at Amplify. The ways that you access the spirit of wisdom, listen carefully, is as you open your mouth to speak by faith, it says, I will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom that all of your foes combined will be unable to stand or refute. There are many times you have to go by faith. You are in the boardroom. And now you are about to speak and wisdom works like word of knowledge you at the point you do not even know what to say yet but by faith and in the name of Jesus believing you have the investment of that spirit you open your mouth and you begin to communicate things that later on you will have to listen to what you said yourself 
because you know you are not the one speaking this is how many people got jobs they went by faith because the spirit of wisdom was there and they had all kinds of executives sitting there and they were standing there though shaking like a leaf they believed they were not alone young man what do you intend to do for this company and the person does not know what to say and suddenly here he comes and boldness and you begin to speak and articulate with such level of uncanny intelligence this is what i seek to bring this is what i seek to bring and they look at you and say where have you been when you go out of that place you can't even remember what you said open your mouth and i will feel it are you learning something when you open up your mouth matthew chapter 10 please from verse 19 and 20 when you speak and you make decisions you give room for the spirit of wisdom to come up it says but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak verse 20 it says for it is not ye that speak hallelujah but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you i was in bonnie bonnie island a few maybe a month or two ago and i had a wonderful tour you know they just showed us the oldest cathedral and when they were talking about one i think it was uh, bishop joseph johnson now i think i hope i got that right and there was a pulpit there and uh, the people who were helping us with the tour were just explaining something that happened the guy prepared his notes and he was going to preach and i think something i don't know what it is that happened and maybe he lost his notes or something and he stood there he was shaking he did not know what to say and fire just came and the spirit of wisdom and revelation came upon that man and he began to speak that was how his first message came can I tell you, there are times you have to close your eyes by faith and just say something. You will find out that it did not come out as foolish as you thought it would be. Because the Holy Spirit edited it before it came out. Number three. How does the outworking... Of the spirit of wisdom how does it work creative thinking write it down innovative and creative thinking job chapter 32 and verse 8 this is the young man elihu speaking job 32 here's what he had to say but there is a spirit in a man or a man and the inspiration everyone please say inspiration creative thinking is powerful this is not about businessmen this is how the mind works the mind was designed to birth supernatural possibilities the moment you drop it in that atmosphere where there is an incubation of destiny altering ideas innovations creative thinking you are a leader here you're a captain of industry find time where you just move away from people and be alone and begin to think allow the holy spirit brood over your mind that's what it means to think creatively in the name of jesus christ what is the next step to this church what is the next step to this company what is the next step to preserving the purposes of god as committed to me and ideas begin to come from your spirit and then one of the ways that god brings draws out this manifestation of wisdom within us is through dreams and visions hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 please when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you do not downplay the power of dreams and visions god who at sundry times and in diverse manners listen carefully he spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so he used the prophetic he used dreams and visions i think it's um what's the scripture that says i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions similitudes you can go to bed and suddenly find yourself 
and the holy spirit is revealing this to you like he did to daniel in chapter 2 and verse 19 then the secret was revealed unto daniel was it not joseph that went to bed and had a dream and his whole destiny played before him i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars many of us lose touch we lose the opportunity to release the spirit of wisdom because when we get up with prophetic dreams and visions and encounters we do not document them let me tell you this every time you wake up and you find out that god gave you a dream that you know is prophetic you see the way dreams and visions we have a series on that the way dreams and visions work is you can see part one of that vision in 2017 and keep it the part two will come in 2022 and then you now join it and it makes sense if you do not respect the first part you will not see the second part dreams and vision seldom come complete they come in part because we see in part but you must respect the parts that god has shown you okay god told you you are getting into ministry but he did not tell you the kind of ministry he did not tell you the location he did not tell you the dimension respect the one you have seen so far write it down and start praying over it then another part will come god told you you are going to become a great politician you are going to lead nations you're going to lead territories he didn't tell you in what capacity respect the part he gave you and put it down he says write the vision write the vision before you write the vision, you must receive the vision. When you receive the vision, your next assignment is to write it down. Are we blessed? Very, very important. Dreams and visions. Now, Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 and 4. We're looking at the excellency as we prepare to pray now. The excellency of possessing or working in partnership with the spirit of wisdom. Number one, it says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established. Please give us verse 3 in Amplified. Amplified. It says through skillful and godly wisdom is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on a sound and a good foundation anything is built by wisdom once it has to do with building whether physically emotionally spiritually financially anything that needs to be built the architect is wisdom you cannot ignore wisdom and expect to build anything that lasts you want to build a ministry that lasts you want to build a business that lasts you want to build a kingdom influence that lasts it will come through the platform of divine wisdom now for study let's just look at one scripture first Kings chapter 3 now we'll look at verse 15 then we'll start from 16 down to 28 that will be our last scripture and then we'll pray now watch this so all that was happening was a dream by the time we get to 15 solomon woke up my god spiritual things are so powerful imagine if you were solomon's friend and both of you slept on the same bed you would not know that something of destiny value he would just wake up and stretch himself except that he's not the same person who went to bed and solomon awoke and behold it was a dream and he came to jerusalem watch this and stood before the ark of the covenant of the lord and offered up bond offerings what a man he offered bond offerings for the dream to come when he woke up he offered bond offerings for it to still begin to manifest he made a feast to all his servants next verse verse 16 now this will be the first test of the presence of this dimension of wisdom there's a lesson to learn here and we round up you can know that the spirit of wisdom has come upon you in solomon's case is about to be tested there came two women 
that were harlots unto the king and stood before him this is a difficult situation right now and the one woman said oh my lord i and this woman dwell in one house and i was delivered of a child with her in the house uh-huh and it came to pass the third day after i was delivered that this woman was delivered also and we were together there was no stranger with us in the house terrible because there is no witness now so this is a complicated case there's no witness save the two of us in the house 19 and this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it that means she laid on the child till the child died are you following this difficult puzzle now and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me huh? while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom are you following the story now and when i arose in the morning to give my child suck behold it was dead but when i considered it in the morning behold it was not my son which did bear 22. the other woman said nay but the living is my son and the dead is thy son and this said no but the dead is thy son and the living is my son and they spoke before the king hmm. can you imagine such a situation two women come to you and they say one my child is dead the other now the king is about to demonstrate the all surpassing excellence of this encounter he's about to know and test for real whether this grace had truly come then said the king the one saith, this is my son that liveth and thy son is the dead and the other saith, nay but thy son is the dead and my son is the living the spirit of wisdom keep the scripture there let me teach you something to learn are you seeing that the king was in a situation right now that it was a dilemma he was not in the room with them and there was no witness there was nobody to call only two women and their two sons now they are in a very serious argument whatever the king did at that point would go around the nation he could lose his reputation at that point what do you then do there are times when the situation that stands before you defies what you know it would defy what you studied it would defy the physical connection at that time you will need to outsource the spirit of wisdom notice the character of the spirit of wisdom until the word of the lord came there was no way of discerning but remember that the word of the lord which is also this sword of the spirit is quick and powerful is sharper than any two-edged sword it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and this sword that is the word is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the man immediately solomon stood he said i am confused there has to be a yastic bring me the word the moment he carried the word the spirit of wisdom was ready to walk they brought that sword it was the sword of the spirit which is the word of god watch this that means you walk best in wisdom when you stay with the word of god the word of god reveals to you how god thinks and having the mind of christ enhances the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom this is very powerful bring me a sword and they brought the sword before the king now the word of god started testing them watch this the first test to know the real owner watch this now the first test was the test of love and the test of selflessness because all men have self and whoever is the owner of the child must love the child more than their self greater love had no man than this than a man lay down his life for his friend so he said we are going to divide the child in two we will give half to you and half to the other in other words we are going to destroy this vision we are going to destroy this a child yet does not just talk of a human being it can mean anything destroy this vision into half give one to the other 
give one to this verse 26 watch this then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son are you seeing compassion and love the moment the word of the lord came into the equation the love test the self test it says oh my love please i love this vision more than my reputation let my reputation die but let the vision live and the king was looking said now we are knowing the real owner the word of god is fine is filtering this i love this son do not allow this son die that I, it took me a long time to have this son and i love him more than my reputation don't worry give the woman the most important thing is let the child live let the vision live the word of god the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine or thine so the real issue was not about the child the real issue was about bitterness it was about envy it was about anger that i am not succeeding so kill this person's child too so that two of us can now not have a child 27 watch this and learn and the king answered and said now that i've used the passion test now that i've used the love test now that i've used the self test this is the real owner she is the mother thereof 28 the bible says and all israel this is the thing about wisdom all israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and they feared the king for they saw that the wisdom was of god was in him to do judgment what did they see so wisdom can be seen when the wisdom of god rests upon your life you are not the only one who will know you have it everybody around you will know because of the excellence of the judgment that you have are you ready to pray we have about five minutes or so and we're going to pray passionately listen brothers and sisters every destiny here is at the mercy of the manifestation of this spirit upon it I'd, I'd like you to make sure your heart is open for the next five minutes because you are going to cry many of us are at points right now in our lives our ministries different areas of our lives and the cure to break that stagnancy is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom the cure to foolishness foolish decisions recycling of pain wisdom lift your voice and begin to thank the lord for the word that you've heard tonight there is such a thing as the spirit of wisdom someone is praying all the overflows following online please pray the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom are you praying thank you father for your word tonight thank you jesus the spirit of wisdom upon my life upon my destiny in the name of jesus admit that you need wisdom higher than that which you have seen at work in your life it is only those who hunger and thirst that are filled i'd like you to pray in one minute and say father i declare my need i declare my need for wisdom that comes from above an impartation of this wisdom by the holy spirit i need it to walk in my destiny to walk in my relationships to walk in ministry to walk in governance in leadership oh. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. If any man lack results, let him ask of God. Are you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe me when I tell you there is a relation. When one accesses this level of wisdom, there is no limit to how far your results can go. You see, the thing about wisdom is just when you think you have exhausted a level another layer of that wisdom is opened 
it is ever increasing glory by the wisdom of to see the manifestation of the wisdom of god providing supernatural solutions lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the wisdom of God, the wisdom that comes from above, that is Shut up, you, We are going to pray. I told you the spirit of God works, the spirit of wisdom works best upon and with a man who sustains the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ means that you have adopted his value systems as revealed from scripture. You must, listen, you must be a student of scripture so that the Holy Spirit can find the tools that he will use to reveal the wisdom of God to you let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 which was also in christ jesus permit this mind to be in you you must replace your thinking with the word of god believe me when i tell you that everything around your life will revolve around your belief system the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters there are many perspectives but the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters you're going to pray lord a passion for the word not only to study it but to have it in me not only to study it but to have it in me to become a living epistle when satan came to jesus the fountain of wisdom he replied by saying it is written even though the holy ghost was upon him but what came out was it is written there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you blessed there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you rise there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and connect you to strange relationships there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you to greater levels of the anointing of influence of power there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you increase in your organization hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Now, if, if you allow me to do this, since I'm, I'm not here alone, I'm glad and honored that Apostle Goodhart is here. I, I didn't inform him, but I, I hope you're not embarrassed. I would want to plead with him, even if it's just for a minute, to just come. And now that there is such an anointing here, I'm going to ask him to come. I'm also going to plead that Reverend Akila come. He will just speak in one minute, just declaring the word of god and the power of god's wisdom to rest upon you and then reverend akila will declare and apostle goodhart will declare and i'll just round up will that be fine please let's honor the lord as the servants of god come up very quickly praise the name of the lord these are veterans of the gospel and reverend akila is going to speak over your life just receive these are men that have been helped by God in various capacities and we trust the workings of God upon their lives and they're going to be making declarations. Reverend Akila will just speak over your life and Apostle Goodhart is going to make that declaration and then we'll just wrap up. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for this moment we share in your holy presence. Thank you for the word that has gone forth that will not return back void. May there be now a performance of your counsel which we have received tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray God grants you enlargement to receive more of his blessings more of his word in the name of Jesus by this declaration we speak forth every Red Sea standing in front of you let it now split in the name of Jesus by the power of God we command you to walk through dry land 
to arrive in your promised land in the name of Jesus. Every divine equipment it takes to bring to pass the performance of the counsel of God on your life, receive in the name of Jesus. By the workings of his great spirit, we bring your way the very resources that it takes to fulfill all his counsel for your life in the name of Jesus. By reason of the combined anointing in this place, now we pray, may your heavens remain perpetually open. May angels ascend and descend on your matter in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, it takes only one encounter to change the life of any man. We believe that by the instrumentality of your word tonight your sons and daughters in this arena and the multitudes across the nations have had a definite encounter to bring about a change in our lives father thank you for divine suddenlies from the first day of august in the year 2021 we decree and declare the change has come upon your people in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As your hand came upon one Elijah and guaranteed divine acceleration, guaranteed divine impetus, guaranteed divine speed, and gave such a one divine advantage. By your hand that has come by the release of your word, we decree and declare divine advantage upon this house in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By your mercy, let the remaining five months of this year be the best of this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that the sound of jubilation, the sound of celebration, the sound of rejoicing, will abide abound in our homes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the speakings of your blood, we decree and declare no occasion for tears, no occasion for sorrow, no occasion for fears. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody clap those hands. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now just standing still under this anointing, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, according to the measure of grace, the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom that the Lord has so lavishly brought upon this ministry, I decree even as we have received from those who have gone ahead of us in the name that is above all names receive from tonight the spirit of wisdom receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom let it begin to manifest as extraordinary results in your life the grace to make quality superior decisions that move you forward receive that grace in the name of Jesus by this impartation every mountain and every obstacle that stands before you in the name that is above all names we declare it shattered right now because you have believed I declare that you will begin to see it happen now That everyone around you will know for a shorty that you encountered the spirit of wisdom tonight. Yeah. Hear me. In your place of prayer, as you meditate, many of you, the Holy Ghost will come to you like a mighty rushing wind. He will show you the secrets of your destiny. He will reveal to you the strategies and the blueprint for the next level of your life. In the name of Jesus. And I declare that under the influence of the spirit of wisdom, may 10 years be put in one month. 
under the influence of the spirit of wisdom may 10 years be put in one month many of you would have made tremendous destiny advancements in the name of jesus christ oh may your ears hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walking in it and that you find rest by it for your souls in the name of jesus christ the lord will give you a wisdom he will give you a mouthpiece that no one can gainsay nor resist in the name of jesus christ in your place of work your homes your ministries may men say what wisdom is this in the name of jesus christ the mighty works that accompany the spirit of wisdom may they begin to happen in your life from tonight and the rewards that follow wisdom in the name that is above all names may those rewards come upon you and overtake you in the name of jesus christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.